So guys, Arbitrum Odyssey is back and you could be a part of this another airdrop opportunity by Arbitrum if you missed it in the first case. Now guys, in this video, I will be explaining you how to be eligible for the Arbitrum airdrop if you are going to do all these tasks over a period of seven weeks. We are already in week two and it is very necessary that you jump on board right now if you don't want to miss out on this airdrop. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and don't skip any part of it. So guys, welcome back to Hybrid Whales and as you can see, this is the post on Twitter by Arbitrum in which they actually say that with the Odyssey campaign returning, it is important for users to understand that there is no airdrop associated with it as of now. Any of the unclaimed ARB tokens were all sent to the DAO treasury via AIP7. The Arbitrum DAO decides how the treasury is used. Now, who is the Arbitrum DAO? It is the community of Arbitrum and they would actually want another airdrop and that is why it is very likely that if you actually do all these tasks over a period of seven weeks you could be actually eligible for another airdrop by arbitrum so guys now we are in week two and week one task has already been done we were supposed to actually trade on the gmx exchange using arbitrum wallet and that is what we did if you missed out on that it's okay you can still participate from week two as you can see we still have six weeks of campaigns and that would also be very beneficial if you hop on board right now and if you want regular updates about the campaign and notifications about every week's task then make sure that you join our free chat group the link is in the description below all right now starting off with the task you can see that the first task is going to be tofu nft and you click on this link right here see mission details on galaxy i will be giving you a link to this page as well in the description below now once you click on that link you can see this is the page that you're going to see you have to follow tofu nft on twitter which i have already done then the second thing that you need to do is sell or buy nft at the tofu nft marketplace on arbitrum when you click on this link you will be taken to the tofu nft marketplace and you have to connect your wallet and change network to arbitrum right here now before you actually proceed and do any of these tasks what you actually need to do is actually have some funds on your arbitrum wallet now if you have not yet bridged funds from the ethereum mainnet to arbitrum you can either send it from any centralized exchange and select arbitrum in the network while withdrawing ethereum from your centralized exchange like binance bybit kucoin or anything like that but if you already have funds on your ethereum mainnet in your metamask or any other wallet then you can actually bridge it by visiting this page right here which is the official bridge of arbitrum and i believe that if you actually interact with this it will also increase your chances of getting the airdrop itself now what you need to do is select from mainnet to arbitrum one which is the network for arbitrum and you put in some amount i would ask you to put in at least ten dollars for this task which would be around 0 0.006 eth which you can see right here i have already done that but i already have some funds on arbitrum one as well so i will not be doing it again once you have funds on arbitrum one you can come back to tofu nft and what you need to do is click on marketplace right here you will see something like this and what you need to do is actually buy any nft which is the cheapest nft that you can get i think that you can also get some free nfts here but it is better that if you buy any cheap nft which costs around one or two dollars max and i think you can easily find one around here because you can see right here you have this somali lizards for around 0.00001 eth so practically free and you have these other nfts as well so all you need to do is click on buy right here then you can see the price is just 0.1 dollar and then you click on buy now and then you confirm the transaction in your wallet now i will not be doing it again because i have already bought this nft right here i bought it for like a dollar and the gas fees was also pretty low so once you have bought one nft all you need to do is go back to the page on galaxy and check if your task has been completed now you can see that it is still not showing that the task has been completed because this 
is actually updated manually by the Arbitrum team. So it will be updated in like an hour or two or maybe by tomorrow. So no problem with that. You can just save the link to this page and come back later and check if you have completed the task. And once you have done that, all you need to do is click on a claim button that will show up right here and then claim the NFT signs of life. All right, that is all you need to do. This is the first task. And the second task is going to be this one right here, a board exchange. You have to actually use a board exchange, which is another decentralized exchange protocol. And once you click on this link, you will be taken down to this website right here. And all you need to do is make a perpetual trade on a board exchange on Arbitrum network and make a deposit on a board exchange on Arbitrum network. Now you can see very well because I've done both these tasks already. So it is also showing already that I have made a deposit of any amount on the abode exchange and this task has been done. This will be verified very soon and it will also be updated right here. As you can see, I just checked and it has been updated. Now, what you need to do is just click on claim one NFT. And once you do that, there will be a confirmation from your MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, the gas fees is just 33 cents. You just click on confirm and your transaction has been submitted on the RB scan network. All right, that is all you need to do. This is the same thing that you need to do on the signs of life NFT as well. Once this gets approved right here. All right. Now talking about how to actually do this, these tasks on a board exchange, what you need to do is when you click on this website, you will be taken to a page like this and you just need to connect your wallet by clicking on connect wallet and selecting MetaMask and there will be another pop up to confirm your transaction and sign in. So once you have done that, all you need to do is basically deposit. So you can click on this region around here and then click on deposit. Once you do that, you will have to have a balance in USDC so that you can deposit it on the exchange. And later on, you can also close the trade and withdraw it back to your Arbitrum wallet. All right. Now I will explain you how to get these USDC in your wallet. To do that, all you need to do is go around here, click on more and click on swap. Then you will come to this website right here, which is the Open Ocean Finance website. And all you need to do, guys, is just connect your wallet on this website and select Arbitrum Network right here. And then you change your Ethereum into USDC. But guys, one thing that you need to keep in mind that the USDC that will be used on a board exchange is not the normal USDC that you see on chain, right? What you actually need is you click here and you click on the search bar right here and you select USDC and then you will find this one USD coin Ethereum bridged. All right. You have to select this one USDC dot E right now because I already have USDC and I've already deposited on the exchange. I will not be doing it again, but you can see this is what you actually need. This is the most trickiest part of this task because a lot of people will be buying USDC and then it will not show up in the deposit section of a board exchange. So once you have swapped this, you have got some USDC dot E. Then you come back here, click on deposit right here and then your balance will show up around here. As you can see, I've already deposited three USDC E and uh, right now I have just 0.36 USDC E. All right. So once you have it, you will get an option to approve USDC E and then you click here and then you will see another pop up for a confirmation of this transaction on MetaMask. Then you deposit any amount. I would recommend doing just two or three dollars is fine. And once you've done that, all you need to do is do a simple trade around here because your balance will show up right here. As you can see, my balance is showing right here in two point. 80 usdc available because i'm using less leverage of just 9x and i would recommend you to do the same once you have done that you can hold this trade for one or two hours but uh, if you just take a trade and you close it instantly also it will also count but just for the sake of security it is better that you actually wait for like an hour or at least 15 to 20 minutes then you can close it and then withdraw it back to your wallet by clicking on withdraw option right here and then selecting your address and then clicking on withdraw it will come back to your wallet so that is all that you need to do to complete 
these two tasks and once you have done that all you need to do is basically nothing and just wait for the next week's task on arbitrum odyssey now guys these tasks are not going to cost you much i think the first task to trade on gmx was just a two dollar trade that was required so i would believe that just three or four dollars were required in that case max including the gas fees itself now in this task as well i think five to ten dollars are more than enough and even if you see that the next six more weeks uh, in which we will get these tasks to do and we invest like 30 or 40 or 50 dollars max then also you can see very well that if you actually get an airdrop because the last time arbitrum did an airdrop it was very huge a lot of people made four figures on this arbitrum airdrop and this could be your chance to do the same to get that pie of the cake all right so that is why i am recommending you to do these tasks on galaxy and join the arbitrum odyssey campaign now guys i'm not a financial advisor and there is still not a guarantee that they will do an airdrop but it is up to you if you want to join and if you want to do these tasks but i am doing it so i'm just sharing it with you now guys that is all from this video and if you enjoyed watching it then make sure you drop a like and also check out the other videos on airdrops that i have already shared on the channel because a few airdrops are also free to participate in and you can actually make a fortune with them as well now guys if you are new to the channel and this is your first time watching a video from hybrid whales then make sure that you smash that subscribe button and also ring that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i put up another update that's all guys i'll see you in the next one till then happy trading bye bye